Hi everyone, welcome to the next lesson of day 8 guys where we are about to publish our campaign. So if you're on the screen, yesterday we did with the primary text and we finalized our CTA button based on your product, based on my product. So guys, I hope you did it. Um, you already write a lot of content based on the cold audience or if you have a warm audience, um, you can write the content uh, uh, accordingly now and we are going to go further guys in the language section you can add the language but at the moment facebook will only use the english language but they will be working on it slowly slowly they will be give a lots of option if at the moment this option is hide but in future facebook definitely have the option you can add that option which you want to be uh, uh, show your ads it will be automatically translate your ads to it this is the most important part of this guys the tracking what does it mean guys in the next phase phase four i will be show you how you can create the pixels and how you can track the events or add the events you want the people will click or they will be reached to that event so what will be done in the next phase phase number four but here uh, what does it mean guys the track events data sets and contain the conversion and might and might motivate the data sheet contain the conversion select the ad account would be tracked by default at the moment i select the nzist pixel which means guys the pixel i created i selected here and i'm going to tell to the facebook every action on my ads on my ad set is happening by the clients please capture it in the pixels in the nzist pixel so basically this is my custom database which facebook allow me to create it i will be show you in the next phase how you can create it for your business right and every action the user your dream audience took on your ads or they will be go to your website or any action they are taking taking or uh, taken on your um uh, website or taken uh, through your websites or through your ads you can easily capture it and you can save into your pixel database so i selected that in the pixels so i will be showing you in the next phase how you can create it and all this that will be really fun guys so app events put it at the moment offline uh, because i do not use the app events here that will be optimized here and the manage even manage data, data sheet and the url parameters keep it simple guys do not need to be track any url parameters because we are at the moment just going to create a simple ads and the action you need to be captured it's enough the data our, our pixel is enough to capture the data right so basically you are going to capture everything use this in zist pixels every uh, action and every taken by your dream audience right finally once you did with this all things now you can see that there is no error if you will be see any error guys you can uh, go through with that and that will be facebook will help you to uh, resolve it but there is no error you can publish your finally publish your campaign now what will be happen guys facebook will review your ads based on their advertising policy whether you use what kind of content you use it um they have their policies um you can see on the facebook as well they have their ad advertisement policy but keep it simple here they will be review our ads once they approve it right your ads will be start running right i hope that will be help you out guys so now here it's the done of our publishing first facebook campaign now i'm going to show you some errors which is the common error you might facing but i'm going to close this one as it's already been in the review you can see it's in the draft if i will be just refresh it and they will be seeing it's a processing so they will be put your ad into the processing in a review option and once it's reviewed they will be good to go and the people your dream audience will be see your ads now I'm going to show you the examples of the Crisol ads, how I created Crisol ads. I'll give you an example, the common problem, common mistakes you might be doing. So you do not need to be doing that part, right? So you can see it's in the review options, right? Um, right, guys. So here, 
you can see it's here c6 it's a crystal accounting ads sorry about that it's just take time um to uh refresh it might be yeah so it would be good to go here once it's reviewed properly uh once it's loaded properly you will be see it here the first thing i'm going to show you the crystal ads right so i create that crystal ads guys here so you can see it i'll just click that one here right so you can edit this one and you will be see what sort of the crystal ad i usually use to run that accounting right so i put the name accordingly i select the identified ad setup create i create new ads here i select the crystal now you will be see guys there's some different things is happening here there are uh, the content is same but you can add the different headline for each card i have some card here so i will be show to you you will be see this option add a offer so if you offering something you can add that offer here but to keep it simple at the moment you do not need to be um confused it and one thing guys confused mind always says is no so do not be get confused keep it simple so this card right so i created that card they ask me to add an image i created uh, that image and i added every ad every card cross all cards right every card have their own headline have their own ad uh, descriptions you can add it right so if you will be see uh, this card i created um, i add the image i add the uh, headline i add a uh, description and they also have their url where you want to be send that students or then your dream audience so i created this one and i add this url right further guys in the next card i have second card here myoben zero training you will be see um the the primary text will be keep same there was no changing in the primary text there will be here there's nothing to change for the primary text but you can change um that the headline right uh descriptions and you can change the url where you want to be um uh, uh where you want to be send your dream audience where you want to be retract to your audience right further i have third card here which i usually use the headline and description my image and the website this is the an example of the crosswall ad and guys or you can just keep it simple automatically show the best performance card from the all three the best performance card people click facebook will bring them on the first and they will be sure to you primary text will not be changed that's the common text as i mentioned you the strategy in the last video how you can write it um so it will be same see url display link now what is this display link is guys can you see it here um it's 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 not here but you will be see here because my headline is too long that's why so you can see this display link on the top basically this is just an a link uh for the customer trust they are clicking to retract on the url right it's optional you can add it or not that's fine so you can select the call to action button basically according to your product and that will be good to go i already select this one nz is to pixel so I, I capture every event through this nz is to pixels further the common mistake is always guys doing is this one so i created this one just to show you what does it mean guys so i put the scene for images accounting the whole thing is same but you will be see a small error here can you see it guys i select the phone call why they give an error because you will be see here. you may get a fear phone call since you have ad set in the ad set is using the landing page view optimization in the last things i will be show to you this one as well in the ad set i selected the landing page view optimization that's why they give an error right because landing page view is only uh, valid for the website visitors not for the phone call if you want to be start the phone call you need to be select the link click i will be show you in a minute uh, so what i mean is to um, i will be show you in the ad set if you go to the ad set right um uh, then you will need to be edited so once you added this one guys you will be see it here bit strategy landing page view so if you will be see it here as well um in the optimization and delivery 
you can see it here landing page view right so this one you will be see it here landing page view i selected landing page view so this doesn't make sense i will be get a click link click okay so i do not need to be at the phone calls if your optimization delivery method landing page view highly recommend go for the website visitor or if you want to be get a phone call create a new ad set right in the next video i will be show you some tips and tricks how you can duplicate it it's very simple but i highly recommend to you is to create a new ad set right and that ad set optimized as in a link click select the optimized delivery link click and then you can start um, the phone call um, option that will be highlighted for you and then it will be really help it will be really work for you i hope that would be help you out guys um this is the basically uh, here this is the ads i created and one last tip i'm going to give it to you guys guys do not create a one ad for one ad group if you have a one product means you have a one ad set create two to three ads different different ads based on the same product so for example i'm going to give you um, the first campaign i select the goal is my traffic then i select the ad set my product i want to be um uh, promote my accounting course right for this accounting course i have three to four different ads that is specific that is specifically for my accounting course right so you can see it here i have more even eight ads different different ads i always trying to create more than three four five ads for each product allow facebook to check it on behalf of you which one perform well facebook will automatically put that one on the top and bring the more results based on your uh, goal which you want so facebook will work for you but you need to be create at least three to four ads for a single uh, product or for a single ad set that's the highly recommendation from my side in the next video i will be show you some bit good tips tricks how you can duplicate the ads how you can use the other options how you can delete it how you can edit a lots of options here and uh, that will be really fun for you i hope you enjoy this challenge guys you need to be published it go through with it have any kind of things i would this video watch this video again and again if you're facing problem this video is for you um i hope that will be really helpful for you see you in the next video thank you so much guys